Hello and welcome to Daily Devotions for Thursday, May 21st, which is also Ascension Day. Our text comes from Acts, the first chapter. So when they had come together, they asked Jesus, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? Jesus replied, it is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When Jesus had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up and a cloud took Jesus out of their sight. While Jesus was going and they were gazing up toward heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up toward heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. On this Ascension Day, we remember the day that our Lord Jesus Christ gathered his disciples on a hill out in Bethany and, and uh, opened their minds to understand the kingdom, uh, blessed them with the Holy Spirit, and then commissioned them as witnesses. So there are three things in this text that I want to take away today. One, Jesus opened their minds. Huh? I mean, you got to be kidding. These disciples had been with Jesus for three years, and, and they were still, they still didn't understand. They were still not getting it. Well, you know, that's encouraging for us. The fact that maybe we don't understand everything, that it doesn't all make sense to us today. You know, if it didn't make sense to the disciples after spending three years with him, maybe we're a little bit too egotistical to think that we're supposed to understand it all. But we continue to pray as the disciples, dear Lord, open my mind, open my heart so that I might understand. Secondly, uh, Jesus blessed them with the Holy Spirit. He said, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And the, the gift of the Holy Spirit is a gift that comes to us too. Wherever it is that we, the same Holy Spirit comes to us wherever we live or where we work. Now in the Bible, the, the Holy Spirit comes to people on roads and rooftops and uh, prison cells and in the desert, all over the place. So for, for us today, we, we have to realize the Holy Spirit doesn't just come in this space, in, in a sanctuary. But God can find you. Wherever it is you are, the Holy Spirit can come to you and upon you. Now, for, for the time being, we're not worshiping in this space. And, you know, I would love to have everybody back together again. But we can worship anywhere. We can worship at home and you know, in front of our computers. We can worship in the, in the great outdoors. We can worship as a family. And, and the Holy Spirit can find us. You think God can't find you? The Holy Spirit can find us wherever we are. Now, the third thing, Jesus commissioned them as witnesses. We are witnesses, witnesses to the kingdom of God. By our, our words, our actions, we witness to Jesus Christ. Now, the, the text in, in, um, in Acts is a future indicative. That is, Jesus simply says, you shall be my witnesses. In, in Matthew 28, it's an imperative. Go, therefore, and make disciples. But not here. Simply an indicative. Simply saying, this is who you are, people. You are my witnesses. You shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, wherever you are, by your words, by your actions, by your life. You are a living testimony to the love of God at work in the kingdom of God. So these three things, that Jesus opens our minds, he blesses us with the Holy Spirit, and then he commissions us to be witnesses to the kingdom. Let's pray. Almighty God, your blessed Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, ascended far above all heavens that he might fill all things. Mercifully give us faith to trust that, as he promised, he abides with us on earth to the end of time. 
Clothe us with your spirit so that we may effectively witness to your kingdom, your power, and your glory during this time of fear and anxiety. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Announcements? It's Thursday. It is Thursday. Wow, I forgot what day it is. Yes, there is worship this weekend. Yep. Um, 9 a.m. our saviorslutheran.net and 1045 live stream here at English at englishlutheran.org. So check us out. It's a very special Sunday. It's baccalaureate Sunday. So come and wish, wish well to all of our graduates, high school seniors, college graduates, and even, even a, a seminarian. And even a seminarian. <laughs> so we'll hope you will join us. So very good. Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.